Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just checking to see if I'm recording and I am. So, let's go into the left view here and frame up on this piece. So, we're just going to do the switch and we're going to do a cylinder. We're just going to right click and we'll go back to this view and um, we're going to modify and we just want to bring this out so it fits okay, so we'll bring that to there we don't want it too close uh, we want to make this look realistic Back here, we'll bring this down and we'll bring the radius around about here. Don't forget to leave a little bit of a gap. I'll we'll just bring this down. Press F4 to bring up your wireframe. So the idea of us doing this light switch is if you want to flick uh, the light switch on or off uh, depending on whether you are doing a night or daytime scene. Now looking at this, uh, it does appear that we need to shrink this down again. Uh, so I'm just going to bring In perspective view just to check that out because we have some gap along here and I think we have that let's go into realistic a second bit of a gap there, that's fine. We'll try here, that's fine. Let's go back to my shaded view. So let's see here, how many sides shall we have? So just need no height segment, so you can right click here and let's see so it's probably like one, two, three, four sides up here. And uh, let's see what ten gets us. Uh, let's bring this in just a bit. So um, imagine that this the little flick thing that sticks out is here. That leaves us with a couple of spaces here so I think let's see okay so it works better for us let's bring this in just a little bit and I want to increase the radius just a little bit so what we're going to do uh, a little uh, stick out the thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, comes out here, and we have this area that's roughly here, and uh, doesn't have to be too too circly, for lack of a more technical term. So we'll right click, and we shall convert to edible poly. And we'll select this face here and we're going to bevel it and give it some height. Okay. 
it doesn't have to be too uh, too big. I mean, just take a look at your own. Uh, I'm just trying to look at my own light switch and make a determination here. So we're gonna that's that's off. And this will be on. So off. that looks like okay not not too bad not too bad I think that's the best we're going to get out of that like I said it's, it's a very limited piece that uh, we won't be spending too much time on uh, let's see material 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 This one uh, default material. I'm just bring these on here so it's the same. And we'll just come back to this piece. We'll just grab uh, this and oh, we'll just click here and shift click edges. And we shall just do a quick chamfer. Uh, let's see. Nothing too sharp. So let's say two. Click OK. And we'll do a one down here. This one we can just bring out more so it's not too sharp and we'll just grab these guys, do a loop and do the same but we'll bring this a bit down and click OK. Okay, so what we have is a little lever here and this for whatever and that. So, so this is on and this is off. Like I said, it's a very minimal piece. Uh, be utilizing much it's just for a show and um, it appears that whatever we did right here let's do a loop To do, we're just going to use the target weld and just target weld these here. And Thank you. 
what I'm going to do with this is actually apply a smooth, see what this looks like. Let's auto smooth that. Go back to edge faces. Go back to edit putty. Vertex, two vert selected, two vert selected. going to grab this and chamfer and uh, do a loop um, and down, click OK and we'll rotate this this way for the elf and we just want to click on the edge here do a loop and do the same and it should remember your settings so we'll turn off edge faces with the smooth still turned on and we just want to rotate so check I think I may just bring this back just a little bit okay and we'll do a test for Actually, so bring that back. Do a quick render. That's the best we're going to get out of that. So we could do a quick save this back on the on okay so don't forget uh, you will not be zooming in very close to that it's just like a prop piece that's all so I think to finish this piece off what we're going to do is uh, we should do the screws, we'll just do these for show. So what I'm going to do is go to the front view, uh, click Alt X for X-ray mode and we'll just do a quick sphere. Right click to end, come back into our uh, perspective, Alt X on here frame up, and more material here, and I just want to change the colour, I think my wife is vacuuming so I'll just wait for her to finish, all these distractions, I don't know, okay, the vacuuming is done, and Let's go to the left view, turn off my grid for a second and turn on angle snaps, 5 degrees you want to rotate this 90 degrees and I think we don't want that many segments so we'll go down to 22 let's look in here 
perspective. This one. Okay, that's fine. Go back to the left view, convert to edible poly. And we just want to grab these sides here and delete them. So you have something that looks like this. Half a circle cylinder. So now what we want to do, you want to scale this. Uh, let's see here. Roughly something like this should be fine for what we want to do. I've done that again. Wrong one, this is left view. Sorry, front. It is front. I wanted to go into this one. Okay, so what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to grab the border edge there, hold and shift, and just make a little lip, like so. And we are going to grab these and click. So you click on the middle one here, making sure you have select mode on there because you don't want to like click and accidentally click more than you wanted to. So press Q, so you want to select this middle one and sh hold down shift and left click. Hold down Alt and deselect this one. Let's see what this screw looks like. Okay. I think our best bet to do with this is to actually delete those. And what I'm going to do is grab the top here and this one. Control and do a bridge and grab the border edge and cap and cap. So you can either go into the menu and use the cap or you can go over to your uh, toolbars here and I think from afar that will give us what we want to do for a little screw now um, let's turn up edge faces here because I want to show you a little trick you see it's a hell of a lot jagged around here so what we're going to do we are going to grab this border here so I left clicked holding down shift and click and what we're going to do you go down to your smoothing groups and use tab 1 and it smooths it out a bit more So if I undo that, that's before, notice it's all jagged and all that stuff, and use the first moving group, and it looks fine. And like I said, we will not be zooming in to this piece. So you can um, chamfer these edges in here or not, it's entirely up to you. I'm just 
swap around. Go back into the front view. Alt text, grab this piece, hold down shift and drop down. Okay, click on this piece, Alt X, Alt W, Z, and we'll twist this back. So it's a little bit different. So let's see what we've got here. Let's turn off our edge faces. And so this is our light switch. Very basic. We learned a few techniques. So what I'm going to do is um, let's see here. edge faces. So this is let's put um, switch base. Zero, 01 and this can be the uh, switch base uh, uh, inner zero, 01 this can be the uh, switch switch <laughs> there are one and these this can be okay we'll just name this one so switch screw zero one and this is switch screw Zero two. Okay, so we'll highlight these. There, there, and there, and there, and we shall group these, and this will become a switch a light. GRP for group. Let's do what to score. Zero, one. Okay, I'm going to save that. So, in the next uh, lesson, let's go bring this group forward. So, in the next lesson, uh, we shall um, scale these down um, to match the correct scale and then we'll place them in our uh, scene um, so we shall do that in the next lesson What is this? It doesn't matter. Well, yeah. In the next lesson, we shall, like I said, scale these down. So I hope you had a fun doing your light switch. I know there was light switches where don't have these the little knob. Um, go ahead, create your own, and let me know. What you did if you could like this video uh, it would help me out a lot um, i shall see you guys in the next lesson